The story starts with American David Baxter. He found a soccer ball and a volleyball on a beach in the U.S. state of Alaska. They floated across the Pacific along with other tsunami debris. Baxter's Japanese wife, Yumi, noticed the names on the balls. That's how they tracked the owners down. They mailed the balls to Japan yesterday. A motorcycle swept from Japan to Canada by the tsunami last year will become a museum exhibit. The bike's owner wants it to be a permanent reminder of the disaster. The Harley-Davidson bike was found last month on a Canadian beach, 6,500 kilometers from Japan. The license plate showed the bike belonged to a Japanese man in a region devastated by the tsunami. Managers at Harley-Davidson said they'd restore the bike and send it back to its owner free of charge. But the owner said he'd rather the bike stay as it is to remind people of the disaster. The bike will go on display at the Harley-Davidson Museum in the U.S. city of Milwaukee.